All right, it's time to talk about another 2019 31 Days of Horror film with Arctic. Yes, Arctic, which has very... The main poster is very much just white, but I did find... Actually, I found another one that uh, I thought was pretty good. So this is a bit of a sneaky one, I'll admit, to include, uh, because it isn't technically necessarily a horror movie, but it is a survivalist movie, which definitely can be horror, so we're just going to include it because I saw it and I really enjoyed it and I want to talk about it. So we're including it. Arctic is going to be one of my 30 Windows of Horror movies. Um, so this was directed by Joe Penna. This is the feature film directorial debut. He also co-wrote it alongside with Ryan Morrison. Uh, the cast features Maz Mikkelsen. Um, it came out in 2018 in terms of the festival circuit and then theatrically it seemed, it looks like it came out this year, 2019 for most places. And I would say the subgenre is definitely survivalist or, you know, drama. <laughs> and I gave it four and a half stars and a heart or a nine out of ten. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. Um, it is in English and Danish um, and it was filmed in Iceland, which I guess you can sort of get the vibe of because snow. So this one actually, now that I think about it, this one's a bit of a hard one to talk about. Um, we follow uh, Mass Mickelson's character who is out in the Arctic, obviously on his own, um, you know, scruffy beard, so been a while, and sort of his challenges or actually habits, as it so happens, as it really does appear like he has been there quite a while. And I, man, I just love this movie so much. And survivalist, I find, can be, like, there, it's a challenging genre, anyway you slice it. Um, but this one was, for me, way more in the drama sense of it. There are definitely, like, thrilling elements in terms of, like, whoa moments and scary moments and, like, things like that. But I feel like there was such a strong humanity in this film and I really 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 appreciated that and I was just really there like I just like whether there was something you know heartbreaking or delightful or wondrous or spectacular it is gorgeous like it is gorgeous I love snow I you know not always like trekking out in the snow but I like winter as a season in terms of visually not always not always the temperature I am Canadian so I do like you know and I live in Toronto so I definitely have lived with snow all of my life but there is something spectacular about seeing the landscape of just snow and mountains but like the ominousness of it just like seeing seeming like it could be forever forever so this was just such a powerful film now that i think about it i actually do not want to say too much about it um because it, it was a real joy to see the story unfold um i did not have any expectations going into this whatsoever i think it was on my 2019 most anticipated releases but i don't know if it came out here in toronto if it did actually it did come out here in toronto um i think I can't, I, I wrote theatrical, but I didn't write Toronto, so I think it did, um, but I missed it. It was in February when it's snowing and it's hard to get out, um, and so I ended up renting it from Google Play, and I'm so glad that I did. Like, it was just a really wondrous watch, and Miles Mathison is such a great actor, and I will admit that he's one of my favorite actors, so I'm, you know, not, I'm, I'm a little biased because I have seen him in so many roles, and this was yet again an amazing role, and it is, like, you, you are really relying on him to tell you the story in so many ways, um, you know, in so like, because you're mostly, like, you know, it's him and the environment, so, you know, it's quite a feat, and um, I really felt like there were so many moments that you could feel what was going on, or the reaction to something, or like just again and again and again so he's a great actor and um yeah so I said I'm biased I don't know if it, like if the fact that he's a favorite actor of mine makes me more or less biased I don't know but I just thought I'd share that it's the truth so I will see like pretty much any film that he's in um but this one even just the premise of it you know the snow and like but like 
like the heartbreak of like the survivalist element of it was also really really hard so yeah i think unfortunately or fortunately i don't know i think i'm not actually going to say any more about it other than to recommend it if you like films set in any snowy place um and if you like survivalist films but you don't like that edge that they often go to um for me i do find a lot of so lot for survivalist horror films that have any kind of uh, gender dynamics, I find like I just don't even want to see them anymore. I've seen enough of them, so this one bypasses that. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Let me know if you've seen it. Um, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this one, but it is one of the newer ones, so um, definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, so wow, that was really fast, but I really don't have too much to say other than it was awesome. So yeah, and I know it's a bit sneaky to get it in with 31 Days of Horror, but I like to, I think sometimes it's good to break things up in, in terms of um, genre uh, because horror does have so many subgenres. So that's one of the one of the reasons why I decided to include it. So let me know if you've seen it and your thoughts, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.